Welcome back to the channel, and I believe today is the day in Crash Lander Survival that we might finally finish the antenna, depending on how difficult it is to build some of those final things. But uh, before we finish the antenna, I've got one more thing with my brand new crafting chain. Um, I had the issue of where I have this oil chest. Now, oil is an ingredient in some crafting materials, and my oil chest is over there and not attached to my system. However, I tried to attach my oil chest to my system, and what happened was it started vacuuming up a bunch of oil and just filling in all the empty parts of my, uh, my chests. And I don't want that to happen. I only want the oil to fill up this chest for the, uh, the gas station, but not to overflow from this chest. And I think I actually can do that with a certain piece. Is it in here? Interactive. I know I saw it. Here it is. Here it is. Container probe toggles when a set number of container slots are filled. Attach it anywhere on the desired container. So if I build this, I think I could then have it toggle. It could be in control of the vacuum pump. And when this container fills up, then it will turn the vacuum pump off. So then theoretically, we should only ever have this chest be the oil chest from this oil pond. So let's see if that works. This is a piece that I've never used before. I need to be able to make it though. So let's go ahead and attach our, um, our removable crafting chain. So we have all the stuff we need to craft. So I need a sensor. And in order to build a sensor, I have everything I need because my system is so convenient. I don't gotta go searching through a bunch of chests for all my materials anymore. It's so nice. Maybe I can finally build some lights and stuff. Where are the lights? Oh, I need light bulb part. All right, well, that's crafting. Let's look at light bulb or interactive or is it, it's probably under parts. I don't know where these things are. Is it even in here? It might just be in the other one. It's probably in this one, isn't it? Parts. Oh, here it is. Light bulb. Oh, need some glue. All right, well, let's hold off on that for now. Maybe forever. I don't know. So my output chest should contain the part I just crafted. Actually, I don't need to go get it. It's in the output chest, but this can read the output chest. So now I can just go ahead and craft this. I'm happy. I am a happy crafter. Right, I'm excited to see how this thing works. All right, and I need to go over my output chest. Here it is. So let's put it in our inventory. Whoops, not like that. Okay. Oh, it's so small. If I just put that there, set fill trigger, 30 set activation in activation range. Is this 30 total or 30 slots? How many slots is in a chest? So I'm assuming 30 means 30 slots. Does say filled slots? Set activation range? I don't know what that means. Trigger in range. Output percent to max. This, I don't understand the context of this language. Output percent to max. I don't know what that means, uh, but Let's go ahead and turn this off of that. Put this on that. So now it is on. We want so we want this to invert. All right, now it is off. So then if I take a piece, some out it should have turned it on. I invert again. Okay, now it's going. Well, it would but it didn't turn it off. Okay, it's on the chest. Maybe it's because activation range. Oh, maybe we'll switch it from all right, trigger in range 30 to 50 in filled slots. Why is this up to 50? Shouldn't it just be like 30? All right, invert. So now if I take one out, it's not turning it on. I don't understand it yet. It just says to attach it to the chest. Does it have to attach to like... It shouldn't have to attach to a vacuum pump, I wouldn't think. Here, I need... Do I have another chest on me? I thought I had a spare chest. Let me just take this out one right now. No, I don't want to do that. I thought I had like a spare chest somewhere that I wasn't using. There we go. I do have a spare chest I'm not using. So we need an overflow. So that's going to overflow to that. When this is full, we want it to be off. Now let's make it no longer full. Why is it filling up this chest? Wait, it's going through this chest and it's not filling up the slot. No, no, that defeats the whole purpose. Stop it. Invert trigger. Why would it go through before filling up this chest? That like, that's not gonna work. It's filling up the wrong chest. Stop it. What? Oh, that's so weird. It fills up this chest when it's just this chest, but it fills up this chest. Okay, here's what I need to do. Uh, this is just gonna be an OR gate, and I want this to hook up to that. So now you can see it is triggered on. Now if I empty that, it's filling back up. It's still triggered on. It should be off. That should... 
Now it's inverted. Trigger in range. It says attach it anywhere on the desired container. So right now it's not working yet because I want it to trigger when it gets to 30. So is it working though? Because then when it is not at 30, you can see it's still triggering that. It doesn't actually change the condition right now. And see, once it fills up and stops, you can see it hasn't triggered that yet. It's just on at all times right now. Output 2% max. Wait, so then what if I have the range 40 to 50? Oh, okay. So 30 to 50. So now, maybe now this will work. So if I take this out, it does turn off now. So we want it to be inverted. There we go. So now if I take it out, you can see it turns it on and then automatically turns it off until that last slot gets just one oil in it. Okay, now it's suddenly working. I thought I already tried this because I had 30 and 30. I don't know. So now will it overflow to here? If I take it out of here? Now it's going. It's going to this chest and it's skipping the last slot. That defeats the whole purpose of it. If it just skips the slot, why, what am I doing? Because now if I put it up to my crafting chain, it's just going to go straight through to whatever empty chests are rather than filling up this chest first. That's a little counterintuitive, isn't it? All right, well, the only thing I haven't really looked at is the vacuum filter here. I need so 20 solid net block. So to make solid net block, I need two of these. All right, let's get those crafting. Oh no, I just crafted enough. I just used metal two and I need one more metal two. So I guess my smeltery will be used to make some metal too. There we go. Right, and then once the smeltery f finishes crafting, there we go. The filter pipe is good. I mean, I guess I, I can afford to experiment a little bit more now. Oh, what does it take to make this? Wow, I need like voltage cable. Switch two? Wait, there's a second switch? Can be connected to multiple seats at the same time. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to need a switch two, apparently. I'm going to need two switch twos. I'm just making that while I'm here. Um, and then I think I now have the filter. Here we go, filter. So how do I use the filter? Let's just attach it there. Set filter. What, do I just put what I want to filter in there? So now that won't come out of there? All right, so now let's put this chest here. Okay, looking good so far. Let's take out that now let's see what happens okay but now if i have it to the rest of the chain with this filter here does that also block it, the chain from reading the oil and taking the oil out let us discover the answer together all right just one little pipe like that Okay, so now do I have oil? What do I need oil for? What do I need oil? What makes what do I need to make oil? Or what do I need to use oil to make? Is any of this I probably something consumable? There we go. Oh! Alright, problem I think has now been solved. Because we have access to all that oil. I have this chest. I have so much oil right now in this chest that I don't want anymore. Where do I put the extra oil? What do I do with the extra oil? I just have an extra chest now that I don't want. I don't want it full of oil, but I, I, my other chest is already full of oil. What do I do? All right, well, the good news is this might, actually, this might not even be needed anymore with the filter, but it's turning off the vacuum pipe. So let's just keep it there. Let's not mess with something that works, okay? All right, this chest just has a bunch of oil in it that I don't want. I have a bunch of oil on me that I don't want. Where do I put all this oil? I guess I'll put it in this chest that also has a bunch of oil that I don't need. But then like, what do I do with this oil? I collected too much oil. My cup runneth over. <laughs> all right, you know what? We're just gonna put this chest over here. You're just a spare chest right now that has stuff we don't want in it. Um, let's take a look at building cables. Let's, let's, start, let's start now building some of the rest of the antenna stuff. So we need, I have pipe pieces. I, ha I have seven on me. I need one more three by one wedge. I need one, two, three, four. All right, let's just take this one at a time. I need four straight cables and one tiny cable section. Four straight cables, one tiny cable section and a three by one wedge. This is the tiny cable section. One of those, I need four wires long. One, two, three, four. See now here's a difficult thing. We have a wires concave bend and a wires convex bend. They both look very similar. 
All right, so one of them has the metal parts meet each other at the corner. This one, the metal parts are separated. Oh, interesting. So the metal manufacturer is not exporting my stuff out here. Why? Why is that the case? That's really weird, isn't it? Hmm. I hope that didn't break the chain and like the output chest because it was kind of convenient having all of my stations output to the single chest. All right, so this wedge goes right here. Perfect. And now we've got these cables. Oh, wait a minute. I need the control panel. No, I can start over here. All right, so that one goes right there. Perfect. And then we need... We need the one that they, the angles meet and then a single bend. Oh, and then here's that small one. Didn't I build the small? Oh, here it is. All right. And boop. There we go. All right. Control box. Other stuff. All right. So we need this one. Oh, I am out of polished metal block already. Let's go ahead and uh, make some polished metal block. There we go. That's a lot of polished metal block about to be crafted. All right. I think s we're, what about control panel? Is control panel in here? Here it is. I need polished metal block. There we go. Control panels being crafted. Um, I know I have pipe elbows somewhere. I need a couple of pipe elbows. Here they are. Let's just get all these. Collect the rest of this. All right. I think we're pretty good for some pieces to build right now. All right. So now I can put this there. Oh, I didn't make the bend. Dang it. Well, um, I did make the control box though. So that goes not like that. Like that. There we go. And that goes there. Oh. 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 I need two bends. Okay. Right here, let's put these pipe pieces. I can finish this part at least. One, two. We got six more parts left. I already have those two built. So I got to build two bends and a control panel and then that other battery thing. All right, here's the bends. One, two. All right, now what does the control panel need? I think the control panel was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, it's interactive. Oh, we need high voltage cables. Two high voltage cables, I think it said. Wait, that actually might be also in this. Yeah, here we go. Oh boy. All right, we need more metal block too, maybe. This gives me two high voltage cables though. All right, does this one go out of the chain or this one stay here now too? Let's find out. Wait, that one goes into the chest. Oh no, it didn't go into the chest. Where did that go? Oh no. How do you determine what chest it goes into? Where are the high voltage cables? They could be anywhere right now. What about this chest? Oh, this is so inconvenient. This just went from amazing to really not that amazing. Quite not enough. Like if I got to search random chests, did I miss it? Like, is it not here? Am I, am I being a dumb dumb right now? It says it's done. What? What? It did- you saw it disappear from here, right? I am so confused how this works right now. Apparently, attaching this messed everything up. I don't know what to think about that anymore. Oh yes, the control panel. Oh, I need six high voltage cables. So I need to make two more sets of these. One, two. There we go. What was I making over here? Those things. And what else do I need? I think that's it for that. Okay. I think I can finish- I think I can finish the cabling. Alright, so we got the bend. There we go. And then we got, uh, one more bend. There's that one. There's that one, and then there's that one, and that goes straight into the battery socket thing. All right, now we just got the two major pieces. We're looking at the end game right now. I don't know what happens. All right, let's get these back. One, two. Now we can build this control panel, and then we need that big battery socket thing. That should be interactive as well, right? Here it is. 21 high voltage cables. Okay. I'm going to need more metal block too and more plastic block. So let's just make as much as I can a metal block too. All right. I'm just going to have that going. And then plastic block is in the chemistry station. Look at this. The oil and the chemicals. Oh, they're working together so good now. I have so much I can make of this. This is good. All right. Wait, where does this go? Where does this go? Plastic block. So you collect it here now. So now they don't go out. Where's... Oh, I was like, where is switch number two? I used it to craft the thing. Okay, so did I take it? Did I take the, uh, the control panel? Didn't I craft the control panel? That's what the switch two went into. I crafted the control panel. I don't see it in my inventory, but I don't see it here. And I don't see it here. Where did the control panel go? Am I going crazy again? Is it gonna reappear back where I already looked? Like, very, I'm very confused what happened to my crafting system. Okay, I don't see it in any of my chests. 
Now I'm gonna look back here. It wasn't there, right? <laughs> Am I going crazy right now? Is this game gaslighting me into like thinking I'm crazy? I am so confused about this. All right, I need, <laughs> I need some more of these. Wait, I just crafted a bunch more of this stuff. This isn't working. The stuff I'm crafting is not feeding into my chain. I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna delete this. Okay, okay. All right, now let me collect all that. I'm gonna craft one more thing of this. I just want to see where it goes, okay? I want it to go here, because then it's back in the chain. Two, one, zero. It's gone. It's not there. It's not there. Where did it go? Where did it go? All right, I'm going to test something out here. I'm going to craft eight gasoline, because I have zero gasoline in this system. So I'm going to craft eight, and I'm going to look to see if this goes up when this finishes crafting, or... Wait. The plastic just came back. This does not go up. There's an invisible thing here. It goes into an invisible slot that we that I cannot see until something else updates in the system. This is it's bugged. We've encountered a bug in the system. And I think I created the bug with this system here. I'm going to reload and hope that things work like they did. Okay, I've loaded back in the game. And now I want to figure out if this system is still broken. So let me create a little bit more plastic block because I just have an abundance of materials. No longer as much oil, but let's just see what happens to it. Okay, and it is done and it is gone. Please be over here. It's not over here. So now it'll come back to the chemistry station, I believe, once something else happens. So I need something else to craft something. Like, oh, this is still going. So if I collect that, does this come back? No. See, I lose it. It's like a, I just lose it until I make something else. So I always have to make more. All right, I'm just gonna make another. See, look, as soon as I said craft, it came back. Maybe, maybe I can like, can I press craft if I don't have the materials? I can, okay. No, I can't. It's not letting me, I just thought maybe this could update it. So I'm losing stuff. It, it's, it's holding it hostage. It's holding my materials hostage from me. See, now that I collected that, no, it has to be in the same machine. All right, that's kind of annoying. And also now I'm collecting stuff on me instead of it outputting to this chest. How do I fix the system? This was so nice and now it doesn't work. Maybe I got to disconnect and reconnect. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trying everything at this point. All right. So there's that. So craft one more. Okay. And it is done. And it's not over here. Maybe, let me delete that. Maybe now. If I put the chest back on, hold on, let me empty this. There we go. Now I'll put the chest back on the end. Like, hey, here's an update. You got a new output chest. Let's do the output chest now. And there it goes. There it is. All right, I think I fixed the system. I had to delete and reapply the output chest. So now the stuff will be readable within the system. So I wanted metal two, plastic block, um, I wanted that stuff in the system. All right, what was I making? The battery thing. So this thing, I need a whole bunch of high voltage cables. And for high voltage cables, I needed the metal two block. So I needed 21. So I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So I need three more sets after this. I'm gonna wait for three sets to finish. So there's one set. Once there's three slots left, I fill them up, and then I should be, that should get me 22. All right, three slots are left, so boop, boop, boop. And now I wait. They should be showing up over here. Yeah, they're showing up over here. That means that they should also be uh, showing up in the crafting system. Yep, so as this one finishes, that turns from six to eight. Oh, I need more component kits. Um, There. I think I only need two more. Let's just add that to the chain. Okay, let's put the control panel there while we are waiting on that. All right, so this face is like that. Look at this, look at this. We have one more piece left of the whole antenna. This has been such like a long-term project. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. All right, look at that. Shapes, math. This stuff just looks weird kind of sitting here by itself. Um, Where do I put it? I feel like I can just, I don't know, stack it down over here or something. Seems kind of out of the way though. I don't know, I'll just put it over here for now. All right, there we go, sitting out of the way. How are we doing over here? We're almost done. Check it out, there it is. My math was correct. 
I now have 22. Oh, five, six, seven. Oh, I need one more set of component kits after that. All right. This is looking good. Do you notice that when I went to craft a circuit board, these didn't change? Wait. Why aren't these ingredient amounts changing? I just crafted another set of circuit boards. 13, 10, 13, 10. Is that wrong? I'm, I'm making a thing. The ingredients should be part of 13, 10. Do I have unlimited crafting right now? 13 beeswax, somewhere in the 10 circuit boards. Somewhere I have 10 circuit boards. 10, 13 beeswax. Why is it not using up the beeswax? I'm just, am I making the circuit boards? The circuit boards are here. The materials are there. Wait, I think I noticed that with the smelter. Because look at how many ember I have. I can just keep doing it. I've got a little bit of an accidental, like, bug that suits me very well. Oh, well, wait. 60. Oh, no, this went up. Oh, okay. No, yeah, I was on the wrong material. Because, yeah, as this gets crafted, four seconds... This stuff is not going down. All right, I have somehow introduced another bug into the system where I do not use resources to build, to make stuff anymore. I mean, I had it, I believe, but I, I don't know. Let's continue on, I guess. We can now craft the compact battery socket, which I think means that I'm probably gonna need that battery I got so long ago. It would be so easy to misplace that or like you die and your chest gets destroyed or something. This battery right here. Oh, you have any idea how long ago I got this? It's been hanging around. You expect me to keep track of it the whole time and not lose it? Well, I, I mean, I did, but still. All right, and now, oh, this, this takes a while. And we have just finished the last piece of the puzzle, the battery socket, compact battery socket. All right, it's getting kind of dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and sleep through the night, get one more good night's sleep before we finish this antenna. All right, good morning, everybody. It's a nice day to build an antenna, isn't it? Put this battery socket down. Let's, I wonder what it's gonna do now. Ready? Can't place right now? Build power and core components and connect them? Wait, that's, can't place right now? What? What are you talking about? I built, wait, do I gotta like replace this? Oh, that's wrong. Build power and core components and connect them. Like, everything is here. Oh, this stuff. Oh, connect tool. Okay. All right, all right. Interesting. I didn't realize you could, like, do the connect tool as part of the thing. That's so cool. All right, so battery socket powers up the control panel. Place the master battery. Wow, this is so involved. Here we go. Activate the antenna. We're doing it. We're doing it, people. Cue the inspirational music. There we go. E to use. Is this the last button I press for Crash Lander Survival? We're about to find out right now. Three, two, one. Quest completed. Achievement. Watch out for shrap shrap shrapnel. Recipe unlocked. Glider. A glider? I want to use a glider. Oh no, what's happened? I just finished building that. The antenna malfunctioned and exploded before you could send or receive any signal. This destroyed all the key components in the process. You can't replicate them. Excuse me? <laughs> and then that's the end. Thank you for playing. It's not the end. Do not click away from this video. We unlocked a glider, okay? We unlocked a glider. We got to use the glider. The end. No, this is just the beginning of the end. Okay. Wow. It really destroys the entire, the entire antenna. The entire antenna. Large antenna console. Oh, we have uh, logs. Here we go. We can read the logs of what happened. Start up complete. Sending SOS signal. Charging up. Sending SOS signal. Alert. Critical failure in power socket. Power limit exceeded by... A lot of watts. Receive signals starting to upload to logbook. Attempting system reboot. Uploading 50%. Warning. Power unstable. Shutting down all systems. Upload ended. Upload progress 66%. Shutting down all systems 10% complete. Warning. Explosion imminent. Imminent. Evacuate the strip. <laughs> all right. Log one. Content incomplete. Reason unknown. Um, sent from cargo hauler owned by Nexus Solutions. 
We are here as told before, but we don't understand why you guys would send SOX signals. If Wonk robots, if the Wonk robots you guys stole went havoc again, we won't be helping. We are only here to take the resources we were prom. Okay. Well, uh, so much for having the antenna in my thumbnail. Guess uh, that's all done. But we have a glider. Do I have the ingredients, the materials to build the glider? Is it under tools? Here we go. Glider. Oh no, I need three screws. What am I gonna do? All right, and glider is crafting. That doesn't look like, that just looks like a tent to me. Just looks like a tent. Is it really a glider? Let you glide like a bird. Be free as the wind, but don't try closing it mid-flight. I am excited for this. Oh my goodness, 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 oh my goodness. Achievement, We where are we dropping, boys? Whoa, 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 it's charging up. How do we use it? I guess I gotta press the button, right? I should probably move it to this one. Glider closed. I think it has to like charge. Wait, I don't understand it yet. What happens when it gets to 100? 100. Glider closed. Open glider. Ah, ah, I see. If only I had a big antenna to climb to the top of and jump off of. There we go. This antenna is going to come in handy after all. All right, we're ready for the glider. I'm going to try first person and then third person. All right, here we go. Huh. Whoa! Oh my, wait, there's no glider! <laughs> there's no visual for the glider! I was expecting to see a canopy! Oh no! I was gonna use that in my thumbnail too, but now it's just my character floating in air. Okay. That's actually, that is pretty cool though. Like, now you could fall off of anything and you don't have to do like the pro gamer toilet move. Look at this. Look at this, look at this glider. Look at my awesome glider. How am I going to use that? How am I going to make a thumbnail showing I unlocked a glider? If there's no visual of a glider. All right. I mean, there's only one one more thing you can do when you have a glider like this. We got to drive our vehicle off a cliff and bail and glide our way down. We need like a good cliff jump somewhere. Let's go find this. This is going to be like the, the epic finale. Gonna have to stay in the first person, though. Make sure my glider is selected. It's going to be hard to find a good spot, actually. But I'm gonna try. I think there, there's some cliffs over here. If I even jump out, am I just, is my vehicle just gonna take me with it? Oh, we need like a kicker ramp. Something to hit us up into the air at the last moment. Oh, this looks like it was made for this right here. No, there's no cliff. This It's so short. Never mind. I don't know. I don't have the best map for this apparently. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go up over there. Whatever happens, happens. Here we go. Just gonna blind jump off a cliff. Don't know where it leads. There we go. Huh. Glide. I was on, oh, I had my lift selected. All right, gotta get back up the cliff and try again. Hello, Wolf. You ready for this? I'm gonna so send it. Oh, excuse me. He's just giving me a high five, encouraging me on my way. All right, here we go. Here we go, full speed ahead. Come on. I have my glider selected this time, I'm pretty sure. Huh. Oh, this is actually kind of epic. Okay. All right. This is actually pretty epic. Oh, I'm going in the woods. I'm going to get stuck in a tree. Ah. <laughs> okay. That's pretty cool. You could glide a long way too with that percentage. Did I lose my vehicle? Where's my vehicle? There it is. Man, Scry Mechanic, like they, I hope they implement the glider at some point. Like Breath of the Wild style where you can just start gliding from any high point. That'd be awesome. All right. Well, that concludes my Crashlander survival playthrough. Very poetically as the rain comes down for the end here. It was kind of mind blowing seeing what is possible with mods in this game. Like there's a whole, a whole new game came about with uh, modding. So that was pretty impressive. Hopefully... It's not too long until chapter two actually comes out and we'll have the the true survival experience that uh, the devs have been teasing us with for such a long time. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss when that comes out. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. I know this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.